if crypto were something like a multi-level marketing scheme or a Ponzi scheme, you would need ever more people in the door. You need more and more people to buy it and buy it and buy it. Once you start peering under the hood here, the warning signs appear pretty quickly, I think. Yeah. I think the thing that people don't realize a lot with these markets is you just can't really trust any of the numbers that you're getting. A lot, the actual governance of these markets is very opaque. I mean, I was talking to a uh, CEO of a, of a crypto company and I was asking him how much actual fiat is in the system, <laughs> actual, you know, real money. And he told me eventually, he said 10%. He said 10, 15%. That's not a lot of real money compared to what it's supposedly worth. Celebrities are kind of the end point of this. They're, they're the megaphone. They, they have some ethical and due diligence responsibilities, which maybe they've fallen down on, but it also shows a certain desperation of the industry right. to get more money in the door. You know, you're inviting people to take on risk that they don't necessarily fully understand through no fault of their own because there's no disclosure in this industry. At some point, it feels like a bubble. <laughs>